A Teacher's Guide to Pie Graphs. What is a pie graph? Is it a graph of pies? No. no. Is it pie graffiti? Definitely, Definitely not. not. A pie graph is a pictorial representation to show parts of a whole. It is a circular chart divided into sectors illustrating numerical proportions. These sectors, or pie slices, show relative sizes of data. But first, some common misconceptions. Pie graphs are best for organising categorical data, such as surveys, as it shows parts of a whole and not changes over time. Take Lisa for example. Could we use a pie chart to track Lisa's changes in math test results over time? No! It is important that teachers give students the knowledge of understanding the purposes and uses of the different types of graphs so they can make the correct graphical choice when representing data. Let's use the example of Lisa and her friends to graph categorical data. What colour sprinkles should they use to ice the cake? Two people want pink, one person wants green, one person wants white, and two people want rainbow. It's important to cater for a diverse range of students when teaching about pie graphs. We'll use an actual cake, which is kind of like an edible pie graph, as a concrete example for beginners. At this level, students will need to understand the importance of equal parts of a whole. There were six responses to the data, so we'll need six equal groups. Two students selected rainbow sprinkles. Two wanted pink, one wanted green, and one wanted white. Separately, each wedge represents an individual response to the data, but when placed together in a pie chart, we can see the overall distribution of preferences. This brings us to level two, where we can express the distribution of the data using fractions. Students at this level will need to understand part-whole fractional relationships. It's clear from the chart that two out of the six, or one third of the children surveyed, wanted rainbow sprinkles. One out of six students preferred white, one sixth preferred green, and one third wanted pink sprinkles. But what if dividing the pie chart into six equal parts wasn't so easy? This brings us to level three. If we understand that one revolution, that is the angle sum of a circle, is 360 degrees, we can use our fractional understanding from level two to construct each sector of the chart. One third of 360 can be calculated as 120 degrees. So the rainbow sector of the pie chart should have an angle of 120. Similarly, 1 6 of 360 will create a 60 degree angle for the green sector of the graph. This strategy is great for extending students when large quantities of data are collected. Imagine creating a pie chart that displayed the icing preferences of 347 students. You couldn't cut the cake into 347 equal parts, so you'd really have to use angles. So there you have it, a pie chart that looks like this and not like this. Thanks for watching.